Welcome back everyone and thank you for following the third episode of our video series on how to attract, hire and retain top talents for your startup. In this episode, we'll focus on challenges and opportunities for your startup when hiring. Now, let's talk a little bit about the challenges for startups when hiring in the current market. Because your company is quite recent, you know, quite limited maybe in terms of headcount and budget, you have limited HR experience. You may not have uh, had to recruit externally in the past. You know, maybe you started with, you know, with friends or got referred people your friends knew uh, who were al aligned with the vision of your company. Also, you know, you're competing a bit against bigger fishes. Uh, a lot of companies are currently hiring. The number of jobs available on you know, public platforms such as LinkedIn or Seek is you know, probably two, three, four times what it was last year at the same time. Your startup may be seen as less attractive than other employers uh, for candidates because you have a limited employer history. You don't have uh, necessarily the, the financial power you know, to kind of offer them a, a decent salary increase against what they're earning now. And also because your company is quite new you know, and risky, you can't really offer them a job security that you know, you're still gonna be here in six, 12 months or two years. More importantly, because you are a startup you know, and you've got a, a, a small, strong team, every employee counts more than in bigger companies. So you can't get it wrong. You know, believe me, I've been there before. You may sometimes be better off not recruiting than recruiting the wrong person. The cost involved, not only in the recruitment process, but the impact on your business, you know, the impact on the, on the team morale is much more than what you think, okay? And then you will have to recruit again and explain to the next candidate why, why you failed in the first place to find the right person. Now, let's talk about the bright side, okay? What are the opportunities for your business to attract and hire top talents? The first thing is that you as founder, why do you get up in the morning? Why there is a crazy bench that have already followed your steps, believed in your vision, your mission statement, and live your values every day. But the most important thing I, I, I think is about you know, sending the message of why you're looking to change the world, and hopefully the right candidates will see themselves in this message and will want to be part of your success story. The other thing we see in startups is because every single employee counts, because you are at the beginning of your journey, your future hire have amazing growth opportunity. The first one we talked about your vision initially is about you know, finding meaning in work. I think this is more true than ever. You know, we've all been very impacted at various levels by the COVID outbreak last year. So one of the first opportunities your ideal candidate will see is finding meaning in their workplace. You know, I won't name large banks, large telco in Australia that will pay more than you, that will offer more career security. A number of these employees don't find meaning at work. They just go to work clock nine to five, go home, and in their spare time, find, find meaning, you know, do good through the for-profit organization, such as the, the, the amazing community we have of lifesavers, and thank you guys. The other thing that people can find in a startup job is more responsibilities, you know. Yes, you can be marketing manager in a very large organization, but if you are marketing manager for a startup, your life is just so exciting. You touch every single aspect of marketing. Yes, you, you know, you're not an expert in everything, but you get more opportunities to step up, try new things and learn. 
Finally, if you think through, um, if you, for a candidate who joined a large corporate, he can already anticipate what's going to be his pay rise for the next two, three, four years until he gets his next promotion. In startups, if the startup is successful, hopefully the remuneration is going to double, triple, and through um, stock options, for example, uh, the financial reward over the long term um, will surpass what the, the employee would have earned in a large corporate. That's obviously in the best case scenario, but don't exclude the best case scenario. You know, finally in this world where we've all been impacted, you know, talking about work from home, work from anywhere, um, in your startup, you can offer much more flexible work environment than large corporate, for example, that require to, you know, work from an office, you know, potentially travel, have a number of constraints that, you know, you can uh, bypass and, and uh, offer in your organization. And I think more and more people value that. We talk to candidates, you know, who sometimes say, hey, you know, do I really have to go to the office, you know, five days a week? You know, some organizations are saying, hey, you know, we are super flexible, we're offering one day a month, you can work from home. You know, I think the, the, the power between the employee and the employer is really shifting towards the employee and you really want your employee to, you know, be happy and be productive. And if that means, you know, working at home, if that means for them being a digital nomad and kind of, you know, traveling, uh, you know, as long as they are happy and, you know, productive, I think that's what matters. Finally, uh, and we touch slightly on that, um, the world has never been you know, so connected. You know? We have a number of clients you know, in France, in the US, um, in various parts of the world where there's a lockdown. Um, and ultimately, you, know, you could consider kind of global talents. We've all had to readjust, uh, and more than ever, I think you could tap into global talent pool. Uh, we've got a number of partners, you know, including globalization partners, that are, can help make that happen. Um, you know, an organization like ourselves, we are used to recruit internationally as well. So once again, I wanted to uh, thank you for watching this third episode of our video series. In the next episode, we're gonna be talking about kind of critical success factors when hiring, as well as our typical recruitment process. See you soon.